Hi, I am Dr. Leela Mohan PVR. I am uh, internal medicine uh, consultant and uh, physician. I mainly practice in uh, motherhood and uh, Manipal. I have my own center uh, called as Padidam Healthcare that is in HSR layout, Bangalore. So Lyme disease is nothing but uh, tick-borne uh, disease which is uh, caused mainly by the bacterium Borella burgdorferi. So the ticks which are called as uh, black-legged uh, ticks, they are uh, commonly present in the deer and they are also called as deer ticks. So uh, the tick uh, bites to humans, uh, the disease can spread uh, by the tick to the humans. So that is called as uh, Lyme disease. So the ticks become uh, infected biting the small mammals like white mouse. So it can be easily spread to humans uh, when the same tick bite towards to the humans. Symptoms are mainly like uh, early symptoms uh, which uh, mainly occur in 3 to 30 days and there are symptoms uh, which can occur also after one month. The early symptoms include uh, erythema migrans. What is this erythema migrans? It is a rash which develops over the skin. The rash can uh, look like a bull's eye. That is a major symptom where we can think uh, it is a tick bite. This has to be observed uh, when you go outside or when you go towards the forest or coming back. All certain venture uh, activities, all those things when you do it, you have to check uh, the skin if any rashes are there or like that. Sometimes these tick bites uh, can be there uh, without causing any symptoms even once together. So it has to be very carefully observed uh, within uh, 3 to 30 days and easy fatigability like very uh, easily falling off sick generalized weakness uh, will be there and there can be mild uh, fever also and there are heat flushes what we'll call it as and uh, headaches there are uh, other small symptoms uh, which can be caused uh, due to the tick bites so the latter symptoms like when the tick bite happens so uh, it can easily penetrate uh, towards to the neurological so it can cause a facial palsy so facial palsy is also called as 7th nerve, uh, cranial nerve uh, affected, also it's called as Bell's palsy where you're not able to move your eyelid or uh, difficulty in frowning or whistling, all those things, there will be a facial uh, deformation occurs to facial palsy. When the normal symptoms are there, like flu-like symptoms, the patient can develop the joint pains, muscle weakness and uh, extreme fatigueness also is one of the things. And uh, these can affect even your heart also. So you should be very careful when you develop certain uh, small symptoms like fever, body pain, joint pains, uh, all those uh, things. And then uh, inflammation is uh, one of the major problem why the tick disease can be spreaded and uh, it can be lethal also if you are not taking care. Some individuals may develop chronic symptoms. Uh, this is like a lingering uh, symptoms which will not be reduced completely. Medically, we'll call uh, this problem as uh, chronic Lyme disease. So Lyme disease is mainly treated by uh, antibiotics. The most commonly used uh, antibiotics are doxycycline, amoxicillin and uh, cefiroxine and symptomatic uh, treatments with non-steroidal uh, anti-inflammatory drugs. And then if the person develops facial palsy, we use uh, steroids like dial, uh, prednisolone and uh, hydrocortisone or the other drugs which will be helpful. And uh, if they develop uh, rashes all over the body, we give the moisturizing lotions, uh, other symptomatic uh, treatments uh, can be used in uh, treating the Lyme disease.